Moving at the speed of life. Your life. WBZ News Radio 1030. Every day. I'm Carl Stevens next to the kneecap of a T Rex here at the Museum of Science. Here's Mr. T right here. And the reason I'm here is for the unveiling of a Triceratops fossil. In fact, it is a colossal fossil. I'd like to share with you the story of a Triceratops named Cliff and how Cliff, a 65 million year old treasure discovered in the badlands of North Dakota came to its new home here in Boston. First, let me tell you that the creature behind me, right here, is not Cliff. The skeleton behind me is a model. And up until today, we've had uh, on exhibit this wonderful model, as well as two full-scale uh, models of T-Rex, that's one of them, but never a near complete real dinosaur skeleton. They are very, very, very rare. In fact, Cliff is one of the world's rarest treasures. He's one of only four known near complete triceratops skeletons on public display in the world and the only near complete triceratops on public display in the northeastern United States. And Cliff is truly colossal. He's about the size of an elephant. Cliff measures 22 feet long and weighs a ton. Our museum is fortunate to have a lot of fans and we often get a lot of interesting phone calls. Phone call was very intriguing. Uh, we picked up the phone and the caller asks, would you like a dinosaur? <laughs> Now when you are running a museum, you don't hang out when people say that, you, know, you, you listen. So we soon learned that this dinosaur being offered to us was the same million dollar triceratops that was making headlines around the world. This highly coveted fossil was the first triceratops ever to go on public auction at Christie's in Paris. It sold for about a million dollars, and the New York Times called it a fossilized superstar. <laughs> So this is Cliff, the Triceratops. Looks in pretty good shape for somebody who is 65 million years old. From the Museum of Science, Carl Stevens, WBC News Radio, 1030.